Hello everyone, here is Akshay and welcome to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are creating login page using ASP.NET. So as always we say, before we getting late, let's get started. Open your Visual Studio and click on New Project. After the new project is open, click on ASP Web Application and rename it if you want. I'm rename it as ASP.NET sign up and click on OK. Here select empty and click on OK button. It will take some time to load up your project. After your project completely load, click on view and solution explorer. Here you can find your all files. So right click on your project and add and from here select new folder and rename it as stock so in this folder we are adding some images so click, right click on the folder and click add an existing item from here we will select our background image and click on add after you add these two images we want to add a web form so click right click on our project and from the add button click on web form and rename this form as login and wait for a minute after the form is completely loaded remove this division tag we are using section tag that is why we will remove this division tag create a section tag first we wanted to add a style so right click on your project and go to add and select style sheet and rename it as style we will enter some properties margin 0 and padding 0 we do not want any margin and padding for our element enter your title of your web page by using login enter link in the link element we are specify our style dot css file so here in the href attribute we are specifying our style dot css file after you successfully creating a web form we are creating a custom style for our section type so type section and here we will specify a full width and a full height so now we want to apply a background image type background image and specify your value in URL make sure that you specify an absolute path of your image After you complete your statement, type display and the value is flex and justify this content to center and align items to center. We align all items to center that is why we use these three properties. So come to your login page and type img and click on tab button. In the source attribute, we will specify our artboard panel PNG image. So this email will actually in center. Type div and click on tab. We are creating a CSS class sec2. So we can use this class in our custom CSS file. So go to your style.css file and type dot sec2 and the property is position absolute left 0 right 0 top 0 and bottom 0 this property are used to position your element and the width is 100 vertical width and height 100 vertical height same property is applied to this section tag is to display flex 
justify content is center and align item is center now come to login.spx page and create a division tag with container class and in the division tag create another division tag with a social class drag and drop a image element so right click on your stop folder and add existing item and from here add your images in the image url property select facebook page and drag and drop another image and from image url property select google plus page now we are creating a css class for the container specify width to 45 vertical width and height is equal to 66 vertical height now create a social class so padding left is equal to 6.5 vertical width and top is 6 vertical height next we are creating a class for image so specify width 3.5 vertical width and height is 7 vertical height you are not giving any padding left to this element so padding is equal to 0 in the login page create another division tag with a contain class and here enter h2 element and name it as sign up Now we want to create a custom style for h2 element so type dot contain and h2 so first create a font family and then padding left now drag and drop the text box in the content division type type placeholder attribute with username and at the last break the line drag and drop another text box and enter placeholder property and name it as password and break this section again and now drag and drop button and rename the ID to submit and text to submit. Now we are creating a CSS style for the input tag. So type dot contain input type is equal to text. Now specify some values. Height is equal to 20 pixel and border to zero. Margin top is equal to 2.5 vertical height and margin left is equal to 4.5. 4 vertical width and margin left is equal to 4 vertical width and we are applying a border radius to 20 pixel now we are creating a custom style for our button type dot contain input type is equal to submit first create a color property to white margin left is equal to 4 vertical width margin top is 2 vertical height and the padding bottom is 10 pixel and padding top is equal to 10 pixel padding left is equal to 15 pixel and padding right is equal to 15 pixel and we are applying a border radius to 6 pixel and type border 1 pixel solid specify your background color is black now we want to create our class for a placeholder 
so type dot contain input placeholder specify font family padding left property to one vertical width and font size to 13 pixel that's all save your project and right click on your project and select view in browser that's it we are created our design now in the next video we are creating a database with some values and complete our login page system you can download this project from the description if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then please subscribe to this channel for more videos and more latest updates if you find something useful then click on like button that's all for today see you in the next video till then be happy and keep watching